Hi, my name's Lawrence and I'm going to be doing some yoga with you today. We're going to do some yin yoga. Uh, so I just want you to relax. Um, take your time with these poses. If for any reason you feel pain, please stop. Let me know so that we can alter it. Um, make sure that you keep good body mechanics as we're doing it. So as, as I am instructing you, make sure that you keep your uh, feet pointed a certain way, keeping your spine one way if we need to, so that we can prevent injury. So with that being said, we're going to jump in. Uh, we're going to be doing our very first one. We have about nine different poses that we're going to be doing in this set. Uh, and like I said, this is a yin yoga. So this one is a little bit different. We're going to be doing slower poses and movements and holding it for a more extended period of time than what you're normally used to. So the very first one we're going to be doing is the uh, Vyasana, uh, which is just kind of sitting. <laughs> uh, you might need a block for this, okay? Um, what you're going to want to do is put your feet downward, angle it, and you're going to slowly come down on your uh, heels. You can also move your calf muscles for this, or if that is too much, you can use a block. You can set the block right behind you and sit. Okay, so we're going to start this one. Block behind you. Muscle out. Try to make sure you keep your spine straight when you're doing this. And just feel the stretch within your legs. Make sure it's angled correctly and that your feet are pointed downward. You can put your hands down. You can put your hands in the middle, cup together, if that's how you uh, feel more led to do. There's a few different ways you can do this pose. And of course, if you want a deeper stretch, you can remove that block, so that you're coming down a little bit more. Feel that stretch within the knees and the calf area. Again, if you start having pain, stop. Let me know. We'll alter it. Ease up some if you need to. Keep that spine straight. And if you are sitting more on your legs, you can come closer if you need to, together. Or if you need the block, spread your legs a little bit apart. Still try to keep that spine straight. And for this next pose, we're gonna be doing the cow face. So you're going to take your arm, stretch up, and come down behind your head. Take your other, your left arm here, come down and sweep up, and see if you can touch your fingertips. If you can hold them, try to keep that spine straight. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hold that for just a moment. And then we're going to just slightly bend to one side and then to the other. So we're gonna to go to the right side. Keep that spine straight if you can, just slightly bend. Then come back up. And you are gonna to bend to the right side when we do that. Then we're going to switch arms. So you're going to take that right arm, swing it back up, straight up. Left arm, swing up, across. Right arm's going to go to your back. Left arm's going to go up and swing behind your head. If you can lock them, lock them. If not, 
that's okay keep that spine straight you should feel this muscle uh, in your arms being very stretched kind of a little bit of tension again if you have too much pain please stop and we're going to slowly just bend to the left side this time And come back then we're going to take our right arm swing it out keep your left arm behind your back right arm behind and we're going to stretch that to the right side almost like a side bend just slightly come back to center and then we're going to bend to the left side now. Just lightly bending that spine, not too much. And then back to center. Okay, and then you can move your right arm up and swing it back down to your side and left arm up swing back to the side okay next we're going to be doing the Tadasana the Matsun pose so we're going to be getting up on our feet uh, you can do that different ways uh, if you can just put your arms down and hop up you can um, if you need to slowly just one leg up next leg up you can do that as well whatever feels comfortable for you. So I'm going to lean up and hop and come back up. Okay, so mountain pose. You want to spread your legs about shoulder uh, length apart. You can angle them if you need to. You can keep them a little bit more straight, but not too much. You don't want to put too much pain or um, kind of too much tension on the ankles. Better if you kind of just point them with your knee and make sure that they're angled. That's the best um, posture. If that is too much, you can go inward just a little bit, but be careful on your knee joints and your ankle joints. Okay, for this one, we're just going to take a moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. What I want you to do with this pose is take both arms up. We're going to be doing a mountain pose on the tippy toes. So you're going to come up on your toes and back down. Up and try to hold that. And come back down. Okay, we're going to try to hold that a little bit longer here. Up. Try to feel that in your calf muscles. That tension there again. If it's pain, stop. Keep your toes pointed. Try to keep them angled with your knees. Come back down. Okay, one more time. Hands up. Mountain pose, going up to the tippy toes. Come back down. Now we're gonna do a forward bend uh, with a dangle. So you're going to just slowly go downward. Vertebrae, just one by one. You wanna try to keep that spine straight as you're going down. And then just kind of dangle here. Now there's different positions you can do in this. You can have your legs just a little bit more slight uh, apart. You can go on and touch the floor. Feeling that stretch along the back of your legs. If you can, you can bend all the way. You can wrap one arm behind your leg. 
Have the one behind your leg and pull downward. Keep that spine straight up. Head should be just relaxed, dangling down. Don't put tension on that spine. Just hold that. Feel whatever's comfortable to you. And you're going to come back up. You slowly want to lift your uh, torso. Think of it as vertebrae by vertebrae, just slowly going up. Head should still be kind of tilted down. Now head lifted up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now we're going to Go on the tippy toes on mountain pose again. So up, hands up, tippy toes. Back down, arms down. Breathe in as you're going up on tippy toes. And as you exhale, come down. We're gonna do a forward bend one more time. So arms up. And then we're gonna slowly do that forward bend. Again, keep that spine straight. Head should start tilting inward. We're going to go into the Malasana. So we're going to slowly bend our feet. And spine goes up. And while you're in this pose, you can hold this. We're going to be going into the prayer position. This is the squat with prayer. And just feel that if that's too much on you, you can also use your clock to hold your position if you need to. Keep the spine straight. Feet should be angled with your knees. If you can, if you can position that block where you need to. Elbows should be right where your knees are. If you can, you can go inward and back out. Feeling that stretch. In, out, keep that spine straight. feel too much pressure on your feet, use that block. Breathing in. Remember 
Remember to breathe in all these poses. Don't hold your breath. Feel that stretch. If it's too much pressure on your hands, you can do the cup. Head should still stay staring forward. You don't want to put too much tension on the neck. If it's too much to cup hands in prayer, you can go side by side and pull them inward a little bit. Just be careful. Just be mindful of your body and how your body responds. Again, if you need to, you can push your legs inward, have them going out almost like the butterfly, and then out, feeling that stretch, do that a few times. Not to overdo it. Again, this is uh, yin yoga, so the point is to just go slow and feel the stretches, opening up the, the spine somewhat, getting a good stretch in the legs, paying attention to the breath movement in and out. Feeling the earth below you. Okay, we're going to move to our next pose, which is the child pose. We're going to be doing an extension with our arms outward when we do this. So you can push forward, move your block if you're using a block. You can go right knee down, left knee down, or if you want to, you can do right knee, left knee, okay? Sitting down on your heels like we did earlier, feet should be pointed at an angle downward with toes into the, the floor, laying flat. And we are going to lean forward and put our hands outward as we're going. And just hold this pose. You want to try to keep that spine straight. Just relaxing through this pose. If you can, you can put your head all the way down. Feel the stretch. Okay. 
keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. If you want to, you can put your toes to your side. Give your arms back up when you're ready. Forearm forward. Next, we're going to be going into the pigeon pose. So you're going to want to lift up with your knees upward. Going into cow pose. You're going to take your left knee and you're going to slide it upward coming up almost to a lunge and then move it to the side and then just feel that stretch with the leg and then we're going to slide downward with our right leg and really feel that stretch you can pull downward don't put too much pressure on the uh, knee joint. Make sure it's relaxed. You should feel this stretch right here in your glute. Just hold that. Your legs should be just about even, almost a straight line. You're going to put some pressure on that back knee, not much. Almost a 50-50 between your front knee and your back knee. Protect your joints. Head should be facing downward. Straight ahead. We're going to come back up, 
take your knee, come back to the lunge. Then you're going to go back down. Now we're going to do it with our right leg. So our right leg knee is going to come up into a lunge. Going across our body, lining up, and then moving downward. If you need to pull that up some until it's about mid chest and relax into that stretch. You can pull that out a little bit more. You should feel that stretch right here in your glute. Keep that back spine straight as you're pulling into this pose. Remember to breathe in and out. You're going to take that knee back into a lunge position and then pull it backward to uh, actually tabletop. Okay, from this we're actually going to be doing a lunge position, uh, the crescent lunge. Uh, so we're going to take our left knee, put your left hand down. We're going to be lifting our right hand up and looking upward. Make sure that head is going straight up with your hand. Relax the neck. straight. Bring the arm back down. Then we're going to lift the left arm up. And again, keep your hand straight up. Face should be going straight up into the air. Legs should be going straight pointing forward and again your back leg here uh, the ankle is angled and toes are into the floor feel the twist and again if you feel pain at any time please stop and let me know Okay, we're going to move our left leg back to tabletop position. We're going to be moving the right leg up again. And same thing, so we're going to be going left arm up and open first. Just to feel that stretch there, not too far. Bring that back. Now the big stretch we're going to want to do with our right hand going up the door. Holding this one, this is where we want the long stretch into. Head should be going straight up to the ceiling, following the fingertips.
again. Toes should be facing forward, pointing forward. Your leg, knee should be putting some pressure into it with your ankle, angled toes into the floor. Just like so, keep that straight though. back. Move this right leg back into tabletop. Just feel that stretch real quick. Now we're going to move uh, and lie uh, on our back. We're going to do some uh, Twist real quick. Going back down to your seating position. Go, go on one side, it could be the left side, right side, doesn't matter which one. Slowly going down. We're going to do some spinal twist real quick. So I'm going to start with our right leg. Right leg bends, knee points up to the ceiling. We're going to take our left arm, pull the knee, and you're going to pull it downward to the, uh, the floor. As far as you can, keep your shoulder blades on the ground. As you do this twist, right arm should go out and head looking that same direction, the same way that you're pointing. Feel that stretch and hold it. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep your left foot pointed. That usually helps with balance and holding that. Again, head should be pointing, looking over your shoulder, out with your fingertips. And holding that pose. Breathing in, breathing out. We'll take our right knee and pull it back. Head moving and looking straight up at the ceiling now. Right knee will go down. Okay. Left knee is going to come up. We're going to do the opposite this time. So our right arm is going to come touch our left knee and pull it. Just a slight twist over the spine and to the floor. Again, try to make sure that all shoulder or both shoulder shoulder blades are on the ground touching. Left arm out. Head should be looking over your shoulder to the same way your fingers are pointing. Keep your right leg straight with your spine there. Keep breathing in and out. Feel that stretch. 
Most likely you'll feel that in the glute area again. That's okay. Keep the shoulder blades on the ground. You may even feel this stretch in your uh, abdominal area. Feel ready. We'll bring that left knee back up. Good. Turn your head, looking straight up. We're going to lower both legs into the savasana. Relaxing, palms upward, relaxing the feet to the side. You just feel being part of the ground connecting to the earth. Allow your breathing just to slow down. Everything around you is slowing down. to go through a deep relaxation. up coming back to the moment take your hands rub them together place them over your face breathing in and out and becoming fully aware of your surroundings and where you are again it up. Come back to center. I thank you so much for participating today in the yin yoga. Um, I hope that uh, you really felt those stretches and just being aware of your body more and your breath work more. Connecting your body, spirit, and so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.
Namaste.